Hey everybody, Joy here. It is Friday, January 15, 2021. We're going to start out today with our devotional. Do you know I lost a subscriber because of my devotional? She says I'm using the name of God in vain with my devotionals. If anybody has ever said anything to me <laughs> that I didn't understand and couldn't figure out, it is that one. It is absolutely that one. So if any of you can figure it out, please let me know. Today's devotional is called Knee Jerk Reactions. I bet that one's going to fit me. <laughs> Reactions. Revenge. Anger. These emotions may just show the condition of your heart. When someone hurts you, what's your response? The knee jerk reaction may be to strike back. But if you can pull that end and respond with patience and love, you will be responding as Jesus instructed. That is so true. I have learned. I have really learned that that is true. There's one good thing about being an old lady, is you really have learned a lot of ways to fine tune living. And I grew up in a very explosive type family. Um, we were all Christians, we were raised in the church, but, but we're always hollering, screaming, and reacting, and yelling, and oh, it was just, well, it's quite stressful. And when you grow up with overreactive parents, um, you, you don't know anything but your little house and your little backyard and your little front yard, uh, especially until you go to school with other people. And so you just, you're like the parents are. And so if your parents are always hollering at each other, your kids are always hollering at each other. And that's just kind of the way we grew up. And I didn't learn, I mean, it wasn't like that all the time, um, but a lot of the time. And there was no cursing. Oh, no cursing. There was no alcohol, no cigarettes, no cursing, no swearing, no playing cards. In one way, it was too much in one way, but then all at the same time, too much the other way. Does that make any sense to anybody? It was very confusing to me growing up. Um, so I had to learn when I got older, and I would go, I went to work, and I had my first job, and somebody would say something I didn't like, and it didn't matter if it was the president of the company, or the secretary in the office next door, or if it was somebody visiting from another company to see my boss, they said something I didn't like, bam, I let them have it. <laughs> I was known for it. Mm -hmm. So, somebody told me once, um, what did she say to me? You don't have to say everything you think you know. I'm like, really? <laughs> but I did learn. I did learn. And now people will say things to me, especially in my comments. I'll get some pretty nasty comments once in a while. And I will really, really, really try to think of something nice to say, even though they said something mean. So, yes. Being an old lady, you learn. You know, you leave the house and you go out into the real world and you find out, hey, you can't act like this in the real world. People won't like you. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Let's get back to the devotional. <laughs> Give others a chance to improve their own behavior and you will preserve relationships from being damaged. Boy, is that the truth. Remember that Jesus also said to love your neighbor as you love yourself. So rein in your reaction and try to see why someone behaves as they do. I behaved that way because that's the way I grew up and I thought that's how you're supposed to behave. Somebody hurts you, you just <clears throat> hurt them back. Right now. <laughs> Let them see Jesus' love in your response. Oh, what a wonderful thing to do. The scripture is Luke 6. 29. 
If someone slaps you on one cheek, turn to them the other also. If someone takes your coat, do not withhold your shirt from them. Now, I don't know. I think there might be a little tiny bit of misinterpretation of that scripture. <laughs> If somebody comes and steals something from my house, I'm probably not going to give them something else to go with it. <laughs> but that is a scripture. So I think we need to balance it. Balance. Let's have balance. Let's not overdo this way and let's not overdo that way. And let's try to be more loving and more kind than the average bear. <laughs> Okay, that's today's scripture, and I need to color it. So, you remember my new resolution. Do I need to back the camera off? Let me back up. This is what I'm wearing today. Remember, I'm going to wear something every day. We'll see how long I do it. <laughs> something I made that I have never worn. So, this is actually a t-shirt pattern. It's safety pockets again. The one I was working with yesterday was a safety pockets, and it's called Fast and Fun. And I had to cut the envelope down to fit in my box so the un is gone on the fun. <laughs> so this can be a plain neck like what I have, or it can be this split cowl, which I did not care for. No, this is called the mini cowl. This is called a mini cowl. And then this is the split cowl. I love the split cowl, but I have four of those in my closet, so I didn't want to make this a split cowl also. So all I did was lengthen this pattern, and I made what I'm wearing. I think I show up. I think I show up. <laughs> I'm one quarter inch tall in the viewfinder. <laughs> all right. So, all I did, and you can do this, a lot of you are saying, what should I make, what should I make that's easy? Simple t-shirt pattern, a front, a back, and a sleeve. If you want it to be a dress, just lengthen it. Do I come straight down? Do I go out? Measure your hips. Make sure that when you come down past your hips, you have enough width with some ease. This is a knit. You gotta have some ease. Figure out how long you want it, where you want it to stop on your legs. So easy. A front, a back, a sleeve. Now, if you hate doing sleeves, I highly suggest Judy Kessinger's Fit Nice System. Her pattern can be made with a dolman sleeve. And if you use a dolman sleeve, all you have to do is one front and one back. And you can make a t-shirt or a tunic or a dress or a nightgown or whatever. And it will sew together so fast you won't even believe it. Okay? Find you some fabric that has some blue in it. I have a lot of blue in my closet. I like blue. This was a really crazy print. Call it my zigzag dress. <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't match on the sides. If it does, it was, it was just a happy happenstance. Okay, so nobody cares about that. Hold on. I told you yesterday, my very first Sew Away the Blues garment is going to be this one. Perfect pair by Safety Pockets. It's their number 2008. I highly don't recommend it, although I might change my mind. This was safety pockets, and I love it. Remember, I made it five, six times. But this one, I may have just picked a bad piece of fabric. This may work better with a cotton knit than one of these ITYs. This, this part right here, uh, it was not easy. Um, the gathers don't look like they look in the picture. Um, I think the fabric is just not right for it. So I'm going to put the sleeves in it. And um, it's already hemmed up. The neckline's already done. And all I have to do is put the sleeves in it. And so when I get it done, I'll try it on. And I, of course, will take a picture for Instagram. And I'll start our Instagram account today with the hashtag JoyViveSoBlues. 
Joy Viv Soul Blues. And why isn't it Viv Joy? Because Viv insists it be Joy Viv. I don't know. I think she feels sorry for old people. <laughs> so anyway, let me finish this. I'll put it on and um, take a picture of it. And then I will start our Instagram. Um, I have an Instagram account. I don't hardly ever go there because I read that Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all those places that they can see you through the camera in your phone. They can hear you and they can see you. And so I don't like that. Somebody said to even cover up the camera on it. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, can you imagine? I mean, if you want to see me, here I am, my goodness. <laughs> but there's times I don't want anybody seeing me. <laughs> I darn sure don't want them hearing me. <laughs> all right, I'll be back after a while. I just finished my first blue make for Sew Away the Blues. I'm not happy with it. I have skinny arms. I could literally put my arms in here twice. So I am going to take the sleeves in. Before I take my picture for Instagram, I'm going to take the sleeves in. And I really like the bottom. The bottom is fine. The bottom is fine. I did not do an FBA in this. All I did was move the dart. The dart comes out of the armhole and I just moved the dart so it aims in the proper direction of my amenities. <laughs> what I don't like, and it's probably not the pattern, it's probably the material that I picked. Let me, I can't move my camera up. Let me see, I probably should do pictures to show you. Hold on a second, let me move the camera up. So can you see here? This is gathered up here, and the gathers are supposed to gather here, and then this is just supposed to flow. But because of the kind of material it is, and it's supposed to be a knit, it's supposed to be stretched, it's just kind of puffy and strange. So I don't like that part. But if I used a different fabric, it would probably come out fine. So, <laughs> tripod's going like this. much better. I never will like this part, but it is way, way, way too complicated to go back and take this off and redo it. And besides that, it'd come out the same way in this material. So it's going to be what it is. I like the material. I got this at Fabric Mart Fabrics like a week ago. So if you happen to be crazy about the fabric, I think you could still get it. Sleeves are too big. These should be up here. Should be up here. I knew they were going to be a little wide, but I thought, oh, it'll probably be alright. It's just like a pullover t-shirt, not that big a deal. But the next one I make, I will bring the shoulders back. I will narrow the sleeves. I will use a different fabric, and I might not even make it again. <laughs> I really like the little pointy thing. I was going to make Viv's pattern, that simplicity. I think it's 8059. But I actually didn't have it. I can't, couldn't believe I didn't have it. I know I've seen that pattern a whole bunch of times. So I ordered it from eBay. So when Viv's pattern gets here, it's got this same bottom on it. It's in a video or two ago at Viv Mom Sews. And it's real pretty. She has this really fun fabric with these gigantic paisleys on it. So you can't miss it if you go back and look at her last makes video. Okay? Don't let you go for today. But I'll be back tomorrow.